This is my first narrative video in English. You can make comments about it. I will try to make it better. First, I start with tracing the design pattern to the letter using brown all. I like to use 30 degree color axis, so simple knife. I like to cut it as a stroke in the counterclockwise. I use pig skin leather as lining. You may see it's quite lots of wrinkle on it. So I use two layers of cotton fabric on top of its soft leather. Then I use standard I want to heat over it that will help leather to be more flat. I apply glue on cardboard pattern paper. Oh, make sure it's on real dry so it will help to hold soft leather for easily be cut in right figure. Then using round or pointing through the pattern where the stitching line ends. The divider has been set 3mm width as my favorite offset. I am going to fold and draw opposite of my eyes as it's not block your eyesight from seeing the line draw. While at curve, you can try to hold the divider still and move the letter piece that will help you be more easier. For this project, I often use double dense pricking iron as for most of the glasses test outline are in curve. When connecting the dots of curve, try to place first dent on the lattice hole, then rotate the next following dent onto the line drawn. FYI, I use 3.38mm Amiro pricking iron, but 4mm diamond type pricking iron is also good to use. Now I make a die cut hole in the center of pattern to make sure stamping my logo the exact position and also to point the button place. The trick to make hole right in the exact center is to press hole puncher lightly chasing the tiny dot until you see it's real center and then hit on it. I use setter from Yu Fung Shop Hong Kong. It's deliver a perfect result. Now let's draw the center line as a guide mark. Following by tracing the stiffener pieces position line. No worries to use ball pen. It helped to be easily seen. I use standard tandy groover to make folding groove line which helped me a lot for making the folding definition shape form of the glasses case. For this part, I draw many lines due to its wide. And for the bending line, I use French curve to help me draw easier. Well, you can see it's simply possible to fold the letter in curve. As you may see, most of my videos, I use contact glue, that's my favorite. I use Texon as a stiffener. Also, you can use Bristol paper or drawing paper as well. 
I did adjust the shape of front piece to be a little bit bended using paperweight. For the nose support part, I did design as this to be stitched with lining. As it will be placed at the center of the bottom part, making a die cut hole and draw with silver pen to help the precision. Do not glue and paste it on both left and right side, but just have to do it on one side at a time for more easier working. For this point, I recommend to stitch from the middle to the outside. I usually place a tiny drop of glue in every 3 stitches back to help secure bonding strength of its stitches. Then do repeat on the other side as well. Mark stitching line at the flap interfacing because it needs to be stitched with the line. Draw one centimeter overlapping area for glue the flap interfacing and also side of the hinge part too. Must place the side pieces first. Before placing the flap in the facing, I need to set the top button piece. Do check the hole puncher for a little bit smaller size. It fits better. And if the wire spring layout is horizontal, it's good. Then can place over the lining and stitch together. Use the template to help draw where the boundary is. Check check. After wait for glue to dry on both sides, now it's time to combine the pieces. First, the flap interfacing part to flap parts, which are hard to hard leather. 
Then flip the shell and let the lining be on top for more control of placing it. Please be careful to the wide area of surface. You can use some tool to prevent the glue that sucks the surface together. Use the bone folder to help more flatten the surface. Then place the rest onto each other and try to shape it nice. The next part is its opening interfacing. Draw where to glue. Also on the behind of opening tool. Place them right together. Make holes through them all and I use round all for both ends. few holes here too. Stitch, trim its axis and burnish. I also cut the excess of the flap before put it together for easier workflow. Just make hole through all for the final stitch. Apply the contact glue. For the cold joint stitching hole, just use the thread to close the gussets together so that the hole position will be aligned all. The first stitch here, the repeat back and forth stitch will help for more strengthen its opening joint. The rest of them just stitch normally. Then repeat the same on the last side.
Seal the edge, finish the surface and that will be done. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.